is the movie woke? Maybe bit cert- at certain points, but it's not really it's it's not really on the nose kind of like Disney in its entirety. But it's just downright a terrible film overall. It's like uh poorly acted, poorly written, and yeah, it's like uh the worst part of it is that it's not it's like what it what the future could be instead of what um instead of what instead of it being an actual superhero film so the entire thing was act was a colossal waste of time for me at least at least for me some people are saying it's just as bad as the marvels i think it's worse because at least the marvels yeah. had some fight sequences in it at, at least they, they were actual superheroes although not good ones but at least they were, they were actual fighting an actual villain and um trying to save people but this one is just it's just completely nothing the villain was like the most shallowest i've seen oh they're gonna break they're gonna destroy my future i have to kill them that's it that's literally it that's literally the villain in a nutshell and uh yeah what what else um i don't know why there are spider men lurking in the jungle for (laughs) apparently (laughs) those are peruvian (laughs) spider-men oh man oh god yeah it's a lot to dissect but yeah um overall it's a it's a really terrible movie it's like it's so far it's looking to be it's it's a strong contender to be the worst film of 2024 Yeah. yeah so uh yeah it's yeah i would say when it comes in terms of wokeness like i don't I didn't really see too much wokeness in it, to be honest with you. And granted, this movie was supposed to be set back in, what, 2003? Three. Yeah. That's another thing. So so set back in 2003. Okay. The main part that I would say was the reason why this movie failed, uh, other than the fact that it had bad writing, of course, is the bait and switch. Because you thought that the... You know, by maybe the half halfway into the movie, these characters will get their superpowers based off yeah. of the trailers. Yeah, right. These these three these uh Mad- Madam Web and uh what's it called again? Uh, Sydney Sweeney and the other two, which is the Mexican and uh <laughs> the Mexican and then the black chick. Um, they're all gonna get their superpowers somehow. It manifests or some shit like that. It happens midway through the movie, and they take out the bad guy, right? None of that yeah. shit actually happens. Everything was like a vision of the future of what's to come. And you don't see them really in their outfits in like the current setting of the movie, which is a fucking shame, right? Like at least yeah. like shitty ass Catwoman movie, you got Hall- Halle Berry, who's extremely attractive at the time. I'm not sure if she is still, but um, her wearing a skimpy outfit, at least there's something for me to look at. But this movie had nothing. Everyone's covered up. Sydney Sweetney's, you could tell that they're trying to cover up her tits. Like, I felt like they flattened yeah. her chit. Like, I... <laughs> How do you feel, man? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's another thing. And I, I don't know. It's like, it would have really helped the movie if they were, if, if they, they could have at least cut the chest apart. Just, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I've been saying that for weeks for before the movie came out. I was like they should they could have really just you know the usual way to um make the characters more attractive, but that could have been an easy an easier way to get more people in this in the theaters. But yeah, no, well, for some the, reason the, they they're supposed to be teenagers, so I get it. All right, I get it. Why? Okay, you, you this, this is a, we're teenagers, right? They actually said it like we're teenage girls and stuff like that. So. We know that these kids are like probably like late into their 18, maybe seven, maybe 17, right? So we're, we'll get them to relatively young. However, it's the script was so bad that it, like in the beginning of the movie, it starts off like her mom is in like the fucking jungle in, in Peru. And then, yeah, looking for the spider. And you know, the bad guy is there. And then he's like, he shoots her and then steals a spider. And the spider is supposed to give you superpowers and shit. And it fast forwards to the, into the future, and it's literally her driving a fucking like ambulance vehicle, the EMT vehicle, and running him over. <laughs> yeah, or, or her. Well, wait, or maybe her driving a taxi, 
or driving another EMT vehicle. It's just her being a terrible driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 it's so stupid. And like, and of course I have like a Peruvian Spider-Man in the movie. Like he basically becomes like the Spider-Man. He has his own costume. He looks like Spider-Man. He's just like, like a black version of it. And yeah, he had barely had any superpowers. So like he can jump. He had, he, he can climb. I'm not sure he had super strength, but the st- <laughs> it's so stupid how he died. Yeah, that's the, with all, with all that product placement too, right? Yeah, like, uh, like it, it, yeah. So it's just like they're at a barbecue and she's holding like a, a Pepsi can. It clearly Pepsi says can. Pepsi. I'm like Pepsi in it. Okay, okay. Yeah, and uh, and, and then later on, like at it was just like her getting these like a uh, premonitions. It's like oh, I could sort of see the future a little bit. Right, I sort of see yeah. the future a little bit. I don't know how to use it, and then, um, and then at one point in the movie, they're basically teaching the girls how to do CPR, and that was like a five minute <laughs> segment <laughs> of them doing CPR. Yeah, yeah. Like I, 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 I already knew they were gonna do something about that CPR shit towards the end. Oh, okay, I was right. I, I didn't yeah. even see the part where in the finale where how did she end up being blind? I didn't even see that part. It's like she just so, fell in the water, right? Yeah, she found the water, and then they gave, they gave her CPR, and then when she came to, her eyes were like like different color. Basically, yeah, I didn't. Blind now. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't show right how it got blinded. All how she got blinded all of a sudden. No. Yeah, yeah, it's it's terrible. It's a terrible movie. Uh, what what else is there? It's like yeah, a lot of people pointed out for two thousand three. Uh, he doesn't. We don't have that kind of tech. All that state of the art technology where they where he could have track them that easily right with, with all that computers <sighs> well, probably not computers. yeah because yeah, yeah you're, it, it's in 2003 so uh well, what's another thing a lot of the characters are relatively okay i never watched anything with sydney sweeney she's not really a good actor yeah she's not, she's not. <laughs> this, this is my she's first not. movie of her this is also my first movie she, she's yeah she needs to really step up her acting skills uh, or yeah, she doesn't like, really care. <laughs> see, yeah, it's a, it's the movie would have been better if it was rated R. The girls were in their early twenties, and there were some there's some nude scenes. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, it, I'm gonna it, bring up. Yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I'm I was gonna say. Up, do you remember the canceled Powerpuff Girls game? Up uh, game. Sorry. Uh, the live action. Like the premise yeah. of that is that they were sexually deprived. I think that would have, that would have been a better plot. <laughs> they they should have just gone with that. <laughs> it's like they don't want to be they don't want to be spider women or they want to goof around the spider women while being superheroes. I think that would have been a better plot, honestly. <laughs> yeah. So so di- di- okay. So a couple of a uh, couple of uh, what's it called again? Uh, streams ago, I mentioned about like you know oh the, you should have like a a nude scene in it and stuff like that. So I'm gonna bring this up really quick. So um, I'm going to I'm going to bring up the audio just a little bit so you guys can see. So basically, this is this is what I'm talking about. This is from, this is from Family Guy. Let me know how the audio is. It is settled, May. Our parents have consented it's all right. that you and I are to be married on the first warm, sunny day of spring. That would be most good, Newman. <laughs> most good. I'm sorry, but she, she is just awful. Is there any way? I mean, can we add like a topless scene or something? Uh, Yeah. Really? Yeah, we can. Oh, great. All right, we got a movie. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's basically, that's, that's what I wanted this movie to be. <laughs> right? The movie was so fucking bad. Right? It was yeah. so bad. Oh, my. Oh, my God, man. Like, yeah, people are already, like, defending it on, like, Twitter, saying how it's such a good movie and you know and this is the one person like name one thing name one specific thing that was bad about this movie and then they're like bad writing which specific part was bad i'm like shut the fuck up man like <laughs> what the fuck it's just overall is terrible it's yeah <laughs> it's, yeah, it, it's, it's <laughs> bad in general the oh, correct question man. which part is good which part is which part of the writing is good yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't even explain right. What right? When when the the Perugian spider is like, we'll, we'll take care of her. It doesn't even explain how she got back to. I'm assuming it's New York, or what? Yeah, what, what cities? Yeah, Queens. But she yeah. Fl- she flew to uh, Peru, right? She goes to when Peru. You, yeah, yeah. In, in the in the later stages of the movie, but 
I mean, it's after she um the mother died, right? And she was born. It's like, how did she end up there? <laughs> I, mm-hmm. I mean, that's a huge detail that needs to be answered. How did she end up there with with a proper education, the upbringing to be? And her dad, you know, and her, wait, I, like her dad was there. It's like, dad, I'm like, wait, what the fuck? You're alive, <laughs> right? I thought she was like. <laughs> I thought she was in and out of fucking uh, what's it called again, like uh, orphanage and stuff. So ah, uh, 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 it's <clears throat> it's not good, man. And the thing is that you know it's bad. You know the movie is bad when Rolling Stone says Madam Web isn't as bad as you've heard. It's so much worse, <laughs> right? And Rolling Stones is like a, a part of like the, the they're more le- left leaning. They hate like everything that's a like conservative and stuff like that. But the fact that they're saying it's fuck, it's like fucking worse than you've ever possibly imagined. I'm just like wow, All right? Dakota Johnson's Spidey adjacent misadventure about a problematic. Uh, sorry, not paramedic uh, with arachnid based f- uh, psychic powers is the cats of superhero. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! Holy crap! So, what do you think, man? Did you watch cats? No, I don't intend to. Yeah, it's, man. Yeah, it's I don't know. It's I also watched Tyro, well, partially Ty- Ty- Tyro's reaction. It's like these sequence of movies, like. It's I yeah I think he does have some merit to his points. Like I think these are just cut loss movies that they decide to release it anyway. Maybe they can grab some a little bit of profits just to make up for the losses. And yeah, I yeah. I think he's right. And but then if if they don't learn from this, but it's still yeah it's gonna be much worse. But yeah, it's for me. It's, uh, I'll, maybe I'll give my my score later. Uh, but yeah, it's terrible. I don't know. It's, yeah, we're we're getting lower and lower. We're still getting lower. It's like I I I thought there's I don't think there's gonna be anything worse than the Marvels, but yeah, here we are. <laughs> Here's Madame Web. But okay, so this is gonna be the new low bar for Marvel or superhero films in general. Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, not not. Now here's the thing. It's I'm trying to remember. Okay, so basically in the beginning of the movie, uh, mom story, she dies, and then she's a paramedic. And uh, she saves someone. And then this little boy was like, here, I made this for you. And he's like, I don't want to touch it. <laughs> right? like, yeah. And then, the, and then her partner was like, take the, take the picture. And he's like, oh. that's like, man, you're a horrible person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah. are. You are a terrible, terrible person. Terrible person this little right? kid made you something for saving their mom. And then you see Sydney Sweeney, and then she looks. She she made, they made her look like she's in high school. Like she she looks very very young. And I'm like, oh man. And then like we talked about last week, how there's there's no nudity in this movie, so we know it's gonna be bad, right? But you know maybe it's good. But then you don't have any superpowers happening in the movie unless it's a bad uh, you know the bad guy was the one who had superpowers. Next thing, um, I believe uh, when was the first time that she had her premonition? Her sort of like superpower like thing. What was uh, the first thing happened? It was when she uh what do you call this? She was she fell inside the car when she was she was about to drown. And then uh Ben or what what's the name of the, what's the name of her partner? The guy? Was it is it Ben? Is it Ben? Is yeah, it, is that, I, I think yeah, I think is that it's Uncle Ben. ben? Yeah. Is that, that yeah, it's like when he was <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is Uncle Ben. Yeah, that's Ben Parker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because they weren't they weren't allowed to say Peter Parker. That's why they they were kind of playing it with the oh, what name should I give the kid? Right, they, they're not allowed to say Peter Parker. I believe that's why. When in the na- yeah. in the baby shower, yeah, they they weren't allowed. No, no, allowed no, no. To it, it, it 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 wouldn't be is because Ben Parker is um is uncle. The, uncle. He's uncle. uncle yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, so- but but yeah, the, the first part is when he was um when Ben was giving her. What what do you call that? B is that a BP test or an oxygen test or I don't know the the part where um they're measuring her um if she needed to go to the doctor because her I think yeah she, she, oh yeah 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 blood pressure and stuff like that so yeah. um yeah so I, yeah I believe that was the the part where he's like you already said this like what are you doing he's like it's eighty nine yeah. and it's like what oh wow you know and then like the second part happened when she goes to the, the party right. 
she goes to the party and um i believe uh was it um is it oh god um who's that annoying loud mouth girl from pretty woman god like oh, i i forgot already like she has very she has bare she has horse mouth i forgot what her name is like i believe it's like her niece or something like that that's um pregnant you know uh, i think it was ben's wife right I was pregnant and yeah. then they uh the, the balloon pops multiple times and then he's like okay you already asked me this question about my mom and then they both leave and then she has her premonition again and it's very inconsistent and that part where um i think in the beginning of the movie where like a, a lot, i think a lot of people were comparing uh showing um a clip from sony saying how cool this part is yeah julia roberts thank you i think her name was emma roberts or something thank you thank you jared um there was like an odd cut, I believe they showed for like the, um, I think it was like a commercial, like a little clip from the commercial. And that was a very, very bad cut they did. But in the movie, it, it, show, it fleshes out that scene because I think a lot of people were, com uh, were complaining about it. So, okay. And then I'm like, okay, so where's, where's she going to become a superhero? Where's she going to, yeah. is she, is she going to wear like, her costume? Yeah, it's like, I, I was like, I think this movie is almost done, but she has none of them wore their costumes yet. Like, wow. It's like they couldn't even get that part right. Yeah. And uh, and then you have that, and then uh I, I believe it shows like a premonition, not premonition, because like that uh the the bad guy, he was like, I think his name is Ezekiel, is that his name? Ezekiel, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so Ezekiel is like, Oh, I'm gonna have sex with this person, and then he has sex with this girl. And then he has a, a nightmare about where he gets his ass beat. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. It, it, yeah. It's like, yeah, I, I, that, that also needs explaining because he uses her to get the equipment, the tracking equipment. Yes. Yes. Because she worked, she, she was the undercover uh, NSA agent. Yeah. Right. And, it, and it's kind of careless of the girl to leave that one hanging in the table, <laughs> the ID. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm going to Peru. <laughs> but yeah. It's like, <laughs> Like you, you, you have that incident, and then uh, she, ha yeah, he has a nightmare that uh, these spider women are gonna kill him in the future and take his yeah. spider, right? That 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 was yeah. the, that was the scary thing. So I have to like stop these. I have to stop the spider woman, yeah. right? Uh, and then I'm like, okay, cool. So are we gonna see any of these? But that's in the future, and he has gray hair in, in the future. I'm like, wait, is this all they're gonna show? Is every time these girls are in their super out like superhero outfits, it's in the future? And yeah, it basically it, was. Yeah, even worse, it, they only showed it once. <laughs> they only, they, only, I, I believe they only showed it once where they they defeat him, and it's not even a good sequence. They, it's like they intentionally made it covering. They intentionally made covers or the angles weren't that good, just mm -hmm. to probably conceal how bad it actually is. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, oh my god, yeah. And then um, I don't know where that guy got his outfit. Uh, maybe he made it. I don't know. He he's a billionaire or something like that. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, he, he, like he suddenly, it doesn't really add up. Like he suddenly became rich just because because he took home the spider. Like apart from getting powers, he he became rich too. Maybe like, he killed people really... and, and and stole their money or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's the, I think that's the point. He was oh, I, I killed so many people to get to where I am. I think that's what they were getting for this. And yeah, he's so um shallow and one dimensional of a character. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna answer this question right here. Raxus says, um, "Did they have even have superpowers? Did they have costumes? Was that explained?" So the none of the female characters have superpowers other than Madam Web, uh, uh, other than uh, Dakota Johnson's character. Um, she basically had powers that she couldn't really control, and she can only see like so far into the future. And she, the only time that happens is like, like. Like it just randomly happens. It's just like there's, there's no fucking reason. It, it just happens randomly. And then she's like, okay, um, this guy is gonna kill these girls, so I have to protect them. The first time that happened was when she was on the subway. And um, but yeah, there's no costumes, none of that shit happens. The only person that actually has caught has a costume and has superpowers you see on screen, like sort of at least anything re uh relating to Marvel at all, is the bad guy. So the bad guy, the the the, the Ezekiel, Ezekiel Spider-Man has it, and that was it. Like, no, like, and then at the end of the movie, she wears this like fucking glasses, 
<laughs> she wears those glasses and <laughs> and uh she's like i'm gonna protect you girls you girls are very important to the future and then he's like can you see us in the future he's like i see everything <laughs> right <laughs> and then and, and then it's sort of like flash forwards and then she has like the madam web like glasses and then like all the three girls are like they have their super uh power and superpowers and they're all like they have their super uh superhero costumes now so that shit does not happen until the at literally the end of the movie at it shows end, that end. one scene that's how they close the, the movie so the entire thing was kind of like a waste of time it's like playing cat and mouse with ezekiel <laughs> yeah yeah it's terrible yeah it's uh it's, it's not good yeah it's um yeah if if you think that you're gonna come in and you, you see like an you think there's gonna be an origin story of madam web it is an origin story of madam web but the thing is that madam web in the comics and even her in the spider-man animated series she's an old lady right so and she basically like she, she basically she ties everyone together but in this one she's a nobody and she basically runs people over with her car. <laughs> yeah. She That's did all it she does. She, she did it twice to Ezekiel. First in the restaurant, right? And in, in the and the second time is where was that? I, I forgot. Like, second, she, yeah. like, like, like near the end of the movie, where it's like where um the Ezekiel's like, all right, because he, he has like an assistant that can like fucking tr turn all the lights green and shit like that, like fucking hack yeah. into the, the city's database of like street lights. And it's like, all right, make turn all the lights green now and then they and then uh fucking ben uh stops and he's like uh guys what is that and then they look up and, <laughs> oh and yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like yeah Sweeney Sweeney is like it's him it's him <laughs> and then he jumps down he, he's holding a bomb in his hand and fucking dakota johnson comes out of the fucking sky he runs his ass off. he's like he's like ah! he drops his bomb i'm like how stupid is that and then they all ended up leaving and then uh their car breaks down they and they're like oh i know exactly what to do because i could see into the future but during this time when they're getting chased uh, ezekiel is jumping on from car to car chasing them right and it's like all right mexican spider woman um there's a little uh the, the defibrillator over there i'm needed to hit charge it's like okay all right and then afterwards when i say now put the chart put the char uh the defibrillator on the roof of the truck it's like really wow you're you're just showing up <laughs> not not yet i'm not and then it's like spider-man the fucking ezekiel spider and jumps on top of the car it's like no and then it shocks him fucking flies on <laughs> the car and then it's like wow you're showing off now and she's like damn right <laughs> she fucking drives on <laughs> it's so dumb it's so fucking stupid man and then um they they escape and she sees the future and it's like all right i know exactly what's gonna happen now like she can see like maybe five ten minutes into the future it's like yeah. we gotta grab this and then we gotta grab this emergency thing and then you guys we, we, we're gonna go to this bridge area and then we make it to the top of the roof and then we're gonna get get a helicopter and get us out and um right as it happened i guess like ezekiel shows up takes off his mask he's like you can't save all three of them and like all of them are about to die and she's like eh! and then she basically squirts <laughs> out these like fucking like web yeah uh, yeah other webs the other versions of her apparently she can she can cl clone herself so she ends up saving yeah. all three yeah like she's able to save all three of them and then i'm like <laughs> 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 it's so stupid and then um and then uh, after uh she, she helps the other three girls escape like she goes she, you know she fights one on one with Eze ezekiel and ezekiel is like you know he has superhuman strength i'm assuming and he yeah. has i'm not sure if he has like spider sense i'm pretty sure maybe part uh peter parker is the first I, one who had spider sense yeah because yeah he, he can't sling with a web either because like he's, he's yeah. just a normal guy running but yeah. if you actually if you if we let's if we go back a little bit in the the early parts of the movie he could have already killed the three girls in the train station. I mean, the cops weren't really weren't really doing anything. They were just like right in front of him. He could have just ki killed them all. But but yeah. no <laughs> plot armor, plot armor. Yeah. And uh, so so basically, at the end, there's like a giant Pepsi Cola sign, right? And uh, he's like, you know, uh, you can't stop me, you know. And then he's like, no, yes, I yes I can, you know, because I'm gonna be there for them or some bullshit like that, right? It's like, yeah. yeah, you thought you were looking for those three girls, but actually, I was the one you were supposed to be looking for. <laughs> okay, and uh, for some reason, 
like that the building was collapsing and some metal shards fall on her. I mean, not fall, fall on her, but missing her, but it hits him. And then he somehow falls off the building and a giant like pee from the Pepsi Cola falls on him and kills him. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, please, please look, look down at him and says, Maybe you should stop drinking so much soda. Some, <laughs> some, but no, no, no cringy part happened. And then, um, basically, uh, she fought. Uh, somehow, the building collapses and she drowns. And then the girls save her. And then that, that's what the CPR should happen. And the thing is that, like, the CPR stuff was like, like was literally another five minutes of the movie, <laughs> just like yeah, trying to resuscitate her. Yeah, it's like <sighs> apart from yeah. Training her how she's training them. She trained them how to do it in the hotel, right? So, oh, you're a mm. good teacher after demonstrating it for a few minutes. <laughs> she, all of a sudden, she's a good teacher. Yeah, and yeah so if you get there's, tired, there's, switch. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of woke elements with regards to the parents of those three girls. Like, oh, my dad's manufactures plastics that pollute the water. Then they're they're all they're also oh, away. Apparently, all of them, all three, all three girls' parents left them either. The, go- the dad, the, 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 definitely the dads, like the dads or, or the moms yeah, or some the, shit like that. Yeah, yeah. The dad is um some corrupt businessman in China. One got deported, and I forgot Sydney Sweeney's dad. But yeah, they're all shitting on the on their dads. But yeah, that that's 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 how that's how far the wokeness goes. But parent that it's not as bad. But even then, it's a terrible. It's just really a bad movie. It, even if you yeah. ignore the minor woke stuff. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Jenny Denny Tay says that yeah, they didn't beat the bad guy. Pepsi killed the bad guy. True. Yep. Basically, <laughs> high fructose <laughs> corn syrup killed the bad guy. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I wanna whoever whoever approved the marketing of this. I I have questions. <laughs> Isn't it how you really want to brand Pepsi? But anyway, yeah. Yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah, it's um, but th- there are people who are like, like uh, what's it called? If, like, literally like saying how this movie is it's it's like really good madam web is gonna it's gonna be a cult classic and some oh my god it's it's so mind it's so it's so mind numbing like it's just these these people who are who are thinking that this this movie is good in any way right yo Kohauser with the six months yo thank you thank you dude he said what's up phil and gray hope you're uh hope that you're well 199 yo joe yo thank you so much Kohauser. thank you thank you dude i appreciate that man appreciate it for the six months jeez um, I would say save your money. I'll say save, save save your money because uh, you know time. I, I would go as I would go as far as save your time. Also, <laughs> don't even bother. Don't even yeah. Bother. Like there was this person who was like, uh, like saying how this movie was so good and stuff like that, and um, and it's like how how is it bad at, at, at all? I'm, and and I'm like, look, you you're spending two hours of this, and time is money, and. It's, it's, there's basically saying you shouldn't make fun of this at all. If you don't have constructive criticism about this movie, like you should just be nice about this movie, right? And the thing is, the reason why I'm bringing this up, uh, Gray, do you know who Chris Stuckman is? Uh, he's 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 pretty big on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. So some one of the reviews, I I don't I don't think it's Gary. It might be this. I, I forgot which review I watched. It mentioned him. Oh, critical drinker. Mentioned, mentioned Chris Tuckman. Okay, so I'm so I'm gonna bring him up right now, and uh, this is this is what he said on X. Let's see to myself, probably not gonna do a video for this one based off of what I've heard, since I do try to keep it mostly about film celebration on this channel. Having seen the film, I'm going to tell you that this is not a movie review of Madam Web. I am not about bashing filmmakers, artists. I know how hard it is to make a movie. I do not know how hard it is to make a movie under the studio system. I was able to make an indie film without a giant corporation breathing down my neck, which is... Okay, um, before I let him continue, uh, isn't his channel almost all of it is like movie reviews and like talking about movies? Like at least like 90% of his of his content is like movie reviews, right? Yeah. So... So why aren't you making like if I'm a fan of you, which I used to be, and I'm like, look, are you gonna make are you gonna make a, a review on Madam Web or not? And it's like, no, I'm not because I don't want to bash this movie. Oh, so that means it fucking sucks, then, right? Just fucking say it. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Just fucking say it because I'm not in, I'm not I'm I'm not one for bashing movie creators and movies. I'm like, bitch, fucking say it. Like, holy shit, man. It's like yeah, geez. yeah. Yeah. A, a part of me gets uh what he's trying to say. Cause like in my personal channel, right? I try to put JRPGs I like in a good light, in a good way. But if it if it really needs to be said, then yeah, just just say say it what it is. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Like if that's how you really feel. But but I don't know. Yeah, some people are just yeah, kind of more like chilling. But I, yeah. I don't know. I don't I don't know Stuckman. I don't watch his stuff, but yeah, it's like if you really feel that it's bad, then the least you can do is like maybe talk about it a little bit or maybe even put it in another channel. Like that's how I would do it's like if I don't want to put it in a particular channel because I don't want to, um, like, example, my, I want I want it to be more of a positive culture, then I'll just post it here or in another in my second channel. But mm-hmm. yeah, it's like it's it's your bread and butter, so you might as well. And it, it and it's a it's a currently hot trending movie, so it's you're probably missing out by not reviewing it, even though if it's even though if you're not gonna give it a good rating. Yeah. I mean that that's that's what I think. Yeah, it's, it's it's sort of like so. Here's the thing: I I'm a professional artist, and let's say if I started doing like art reviews and stuff like that, like I'm not gonna be like, oh, actually, I'm not gonna say something, something. Uh, I I'm not one for bashing art, is because you know, like I I know how hard it is to make movies, or I know how hard it is to make art, and it takes a long time mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But if your shit looks like garbage, like that fucking person who took that painting of Jesus Christ and redid it, it looks like a fucking monkey. It's like, I'm going to call you fucking out for it. Yeah. It's like, yeah. And the thing is that like, like the thing is I spent money and fucking time time. to go watch this movie and, and time is money for a lot of people that I have the absolute right to, to call out a movie for, for wasting my fucking time and money. Like yeah, yeah. Halfway through the movie, can I go and say, can I, can I get my money back? Yeah. It's like, geez, right? So here's the thing. Jose Ataco says he trashed the prequel Star Wars, so he is lying. Yeah. So if he trashed it, why doesn't he want to trash this one? Is he a Sony fanboy? Is he a Marvel fanboy? I don't know. You know, so excuse me, but he's wearing a Spider-Man shirt. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. But it's just like so contradicting, right? Because like I've seen his videos before where he he gives a movie like this movie is so bad. It's not good at all. Like stick to the original stuff. Like I've seen him be critical. And I think it's like a lot of people are saying, oh, Jeremy Johns basically, because I watched his review on his non-spoiler review, he gave Madam Web dog shit, right? We mm. go there because we want to see what he thought about, yeah. the, about the movie. It's it, it, Because if you yeah. if you like the movies that, you know, w- whichever YouTuber uh, typically likes, then you guys will have same um same probably thought and agreements on like which movies you guys enjoy so if stuckman was like i'm not gonna do a movie review on this then it's like well am i gonna watch this movie or not like and and then if you go watch the movie and you fucking hated it i am be like what the fuck chris like you 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 could have said something but you didn't i wasted my time yeah. and fucking money i trusted you man you were the chosen one Right, it's like that kind of <laughs> shit. It's like if, if you only watch Chris Stuckman, I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't watch Jeremy Johns, don't watch other people, don't watch John Campia, and only watches him. And then mm-hmm. you're like, dude, I wasted my fucking time and my money. You could have fucking helped me save money, man. Look, I can only watch one movie every three months because I'm I'm fucking broke. Like you could have saved me money. So it's with his. I'm I'm pretty sure he has like several million subscribers with his amount of influence. Like he should have said, um, I wouldn't let me say, hey, um, I don't want to bash this movie, but I wouldn't recommend you guys go watch this movie. Right, but let, but I, I don't know. Let's finish oh, there, this. There, there, yeah, there's a long version. Okay. Yeah, no, go 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 go, go, go ahead. Yeah, there, there's a there's a long version. There's a 16 minute one. And had when she directed Madam Webb under Sony, which I can only imagine was monumentally difficult. This is not going to be a video about Madam Web and telling you whether or not you should see Madam Web. For myself, probably that's what he that, that that's what this this is what this video should have been whether or not you should go see Madam Web. It should have been. It's because yeah, I, I I I like I follow him I follow him for a while now, and I like a lot of his older stuff when he talks about horror movies and stuff like that because I like his takes on horror movies, and um he's a big fan of that kind of stuff. So 
Um, but the fact that he says, oh, just just not I, I don't want to talk about bashing and stuff like that. I, but and I don't also not there's not yeah. a video about whether or not you should go watch the movie or not. It's like, no, it should have been. It should have yeah, been. I, I, it was your responsibility. I, I, yeah, I I don't know this he, the way he speaks, it says he's an indie director. So he's he's framing he always he keeps framing it. Oh, I know how hard it is to create a film. Oh, it's really, really tough. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's the market who will decide if your fruits of if your hard work paid off. So mm -hmm. no, at the end of the day, nobody cares about uh, what everyone went through to make the final product. It's about if the product is good or not. So yeah, yeah the, even more so that you want as much as possible, you want ha people's hard work to pay off. And if you don't call it out, then more just more of these crappy, crappy shows and entertainment or any product and any product for that matter will be terrible if you don't keep calling it out or if you don't say here's what you can do so next time this won't happen again so we need people like that we need more people mm -hmm. with constructive criticism and critical thinking and not um pandering to uh black rock funded ideologies Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.